Hey everyone, okay, so today is a new video and this is gonna give you a new take on how to not get cakey makeup because it seems to be pretty much the number one complaint that the foundation with the powder looks very heavy, it looks very cakey. And of course, one way to avoid that is to not use very much foundation, but there are lots of people who need additional foundation. So that's where this tutorial comes in. So we're gonna make a start and I'm just gonna talk to you randomly throughout all I can say is that as the tutorial goes on, if you could just keep watching until the end and it'll all make sense. So prime your face, I'm just gonna do half my face to show you. Prime your face with whatever you want, whether it's moisturizer, primer, or both, do whatever you want. Then apply your foundation with a sponge. So I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender and I'm gonna start applying the foundation. So all you wanna do is pat it all over your face. So coming up, right, is some new products coming up that are so inexpensive, you, and I mean really, really inexpensive. Exfoliants that cost almost nothing, almost free. There are some really good hydrators and some excellent foundations as well. So loads of really good things coming up. Also, my new brush line has um, launched, which is the face set has been revamped and they're all new white, white brushes, ultra, ultra soft as well, which is so good because, you know, it took so long to get them right because this process has been oh, a year, year, just over a year in the making, going back and forth. Don't forget your ears when you're doing foundation because you can have a beautiful canvas and then just have this really, really red ear, which never looks great. So don't forget your ears because mine get very red. When you're going into the hairline, just push up lightly just to get into the actual hairline itself. And when it comes to the nose, what you wanna do is put a really good amount of pressure in right at the sides here to really make sure any areas that are problematic just to give it some real press to those areas. So for me, it's always the bloody nose because that's the area where the broken capillaries are at their worst, which is never good. So keep pushing, patting, blending as you go along, picking up more product that's on your hand if you need it. So in the comment section below, tell me random facts about yourself. Just something really random, something that no one else would know. Just call it random fact and then just put something Okay, so what did we do there? What we did was an extreme amount of blending. Now, truthfully speaking, I blended for about two minutes. I could have probably done another minute's worth of blending there. That's the key to not getting cakey when you start to apply, is the over application of pressure, the over application of blending. Generally speaking, it takes about six minutes for me to complete a makeup application on somebody's face, regardless of age. If they're younger, it's a lot quicker, but the older they get, the more blending there is, because everything gets blended really, really well into the skin, apart from that, whatever that is, living on my face, and therefore, the product is being pushed into the skin more, it's becoming more part of the skin. Now, get a ply tissue, pull it in half, and just wrap your beauty blender around it. Now, really gently, not putting any pressure this time, just go over. Your foundation will have almost certainly have been be completely dry now because of all the blending and pressure that you've used. And you'll find, give or take, depending on the foundation you used, that very little will actually come off um, on the sponge. So that's pretty cool. Next, you're gonna powder. So I'm just gonna use the trusty old favorite, which is the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm gonna use the same sponge, and I'm really gonna saturate it. And now I'm gonna go all over the makeup, and I'm not gonna reapply until I really think, by looking at the sponge, that I actually need to reapply, rather than just packing it on because remember, all of that blending created the foundation to almost dry, and in some cases, completely dry. And therefore, when you do this, 
your ultra setting it now. Nothing can move. This is going to last all day and all night. It will not go anywhere. And that is it. And I know you are hoping for something, you know, incredibly new and incredibly different. But that is how you'll get that ultra flawless look, that ultra hard stuck on the skin look where nothing moves. If you don't like the really matte finish that this leaves, then just... It's Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds Outside. Then just leave your skin and spritz it with a bit of setting spray. It's not going to make any difference. That will give you that dewy, youthful complexion back. Now you can go in with your blusher, bronzer, highlighter, and if you want the buffing technique, if you're going to be photographed, that's it. It's really that simple. Anybody I come in contact with that talks about um, cakey foundation, chances are they're not blending enough because if you think you're going to spend six minutes blending your entire foundation and then, truthfully speaking, another four minutes easy blending your concealer, that's ten full minutes just on base and almost no one does that. And that's why when you see other people's work and it looks so phenomenal and it doesn't look like they've got a lot of product on the skin, it's why. They're really working that foundation into the skin. Please be nice, comments in the description bar below, let me hear them and your random ones because I'd love to hear random ones and I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much, bye bye. Do you know, if you actually stay till the end, this is the bit that you'll see that no one else will see. Now I do this on other people, right, but I never do it on myself because I'm filming and I don't really care. And this is filmed in true 4K, I'm uploading it in true 4K and I actually just impressed myself because I went to the mirror and I was like, holy fuck. I can't see any foundation on my skin. This is why it's really cool when I do it on other people because I'm so used to it. But I would never do it on myself because I don't wear foundation in real life. And I, I literally just looked in the mirror and was like, holy fuck, there is nothing on my skin, but it's covered. Oh, see you soon, bye bye.